Hey guys, Mike from Eldorado Guitars here, and I want to talk to you today about one cool trick for your Friedman Jake E. Lee. Um, everybody knows that this is probably the brightest amp that Dave has made. Um, it's basically a 2203 circuit, but with Dave's kind of magic and tweaks. And it sounds killer. Um, right now I have it on channel two, and um, I'm not using the Jake E. Lee mode, the, the higher gain mode, I'm in the regular mode on channel two. Um, which is basically, again, a 2203 with Dave's tweaks. I have all the EQ at noon, the thump in the presence at noon, and here's what it sounds like. It sounds awesome. So on the back of this amp, there is a half power switch. Now, a lot of people get the half power switch confused with volume. They think that if I take the amp from 100 watts to 50 watts using the half power switch, that somehow the amp is going to be quieter. That's actually false. It's only going to be about 3 dB quieter. The difference between 50 watts and 100 watts is only about 3 decibels. What it will do is it will lower the headroom of the amp which will allow you to do two things. One, it will change the feel and soften the amp. And number two, it will allow you to turn the amp up more um, so it will break up, so the power section will break up, right? On a 100 watt amp, the amp will be blisteringly loud to be 100 watts, right, cranked. On 50 watts, it's a little bit more tolerable because the amp will break up sooner. So let me show you what I mean. Again, here's our stock sound. <laughs> standby. I'm going to reach around to the back of the amp and flip it from full power to half power and then I'll turn the standby back on. Now you will notice the volume will drop a little bit but what we really want to listen to is the other characteristics of the amp, right? So let's check it out. actually changed a lot, right? It's a lot less bright. It's a lot less kind of strident, right? Meaning like it's not as tight on the bottom. It's not as percussive hitting you in the chest. It's a little bit softer, right? Listen. Now that's not to say that it's still not a percussive amp, but it's just like a little bit softer on the bottom. It's a little bit softer on the top too. Listen. So it really changes the sound of the amp. This is great for a guitar like this. So this guitar is a uh, 2000 Fender American Standard Strat, it's just regular, yeah, it's a hardtail, but you know, nothing fancy. And I've got two Lawler Imperials in here, just regular stock Lawler Imperials, right? Bridge and neck. These are actually pretty bright pickups in this guitar. So when you pair a pretty bright pickup with a pretty bright amp when it was on 100 watts, it really can kind of take your head off sometimes, right? It's very bright. It's very, like I said, very strident, right? It's um, a lot of presence. It kind of reminds me of the AFD 100, right? Very like uh, a lot of treble, right? And so combining a really bright guitar with a bright amp is usually not a great combination. But this 50 watt mode will allow you to do that, right? So now the whole amp sounds a lot softer. And I'm able to now turn up the master to get the power section cooking as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, here's our sound right now. All right, I'm gonna turn the master up. I'm gonna go from four to six. Here we go. As 
as you can hear, the whole sound and feel of the amp has changed because not only have we dropped it to 50 watts, but we're cranking the master up two more notches. So we're getting a little bit more compression, a little bit of that tube sag. You can hear the mids are really coming forward, right? What I like to do is actually use this on um, Channel 2's Jakey Lee mode as well. And let me explain, and I'll leave you with this final tip. The Jakey Lee mode can be really, really, really bright. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna put the amp back on standby. I'm gonna pick, pick it back up to 100 watts. I'm gonna turn it back on and I'm gonna lower my master back down to four where it was, okay? All right, so here's our stock sound on the regular mode on channel two. <laughs> switch it to Jakey Lee mode, what's going to happen is two things. One, the amp is going to pick up a little bit of gain, and two, it's going to engage a bright cap. And the bright cap is going to make this amp very sharp, right? Very, very sharp. Honestly, it sounds a lot like the AFD-100, which frankly I think is hilarious because the AFD-100 has been lampooned by everybody, but everyone thinks the Jakey Lee is great. Let me show you what I mean, right? So I'm going to go ahead and kick it into Jakey Lee mode. And I'm going to, you can hear the hiss, right, of the bright cap, right? And I'm going to lower the gain just a little bit from about um, seven or so to six, just because you do get a lot of gain in this mode, okay? So here's what it sounds like now with the Jakey Lee mode on, and you'll hear that bright cap. right? Very, very, very bright. Now, some of you might be saying, yo, Mike, but when you turn the gain down, it engaged the bright cap more. That is true. So I will turn it up just to show you, right? I'll put the gain back to where it was just so I can show you, but it's still very bright. Even with the gain turned up to reduce the bright cap, it's still very bright. Here we go. <laughs> still. So here's where the trick comes in. If we reduce it to 50 watt mode, it's going to take a lot of that brightness away. So let's do that. Okay. I'm going to put it on standby. I'm going to flip the back to 50 watts and I'm going to turn it back on and turn the master back up to six because remember we're going to lose just a little bit of volume. So I'm going to turn the master back up to six. And I'm going to lower the gain back to where I had it for the first clip, right? So about six instead of seven. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to turn the amp on. Now, it's still bright but it has taken the edge off, right? It's not quite so like in your ear, right? Now I'll turn the gain back up higher so the right cap reduces a little bit just to show you what that sounds like. So now we're back up to about seven, eight. <laughs> to kind of get the amp to kind of calm down a little bit on that Jakey Lee mode because it can be really, really bright. So on 50 watt mode, it really just kind of takes that, that bite out at the top, but it also keeps the bottom from becoming too bright as well. Let me show you what I mean. <laughs> Get 
some really cool sounds. Let me show you. Again, we're still in 50 watt mode, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce the treble down to four. I'm gonna up the mids to about six and a half and I'm gonna up the bass to six. I'll up the thump to six as well. And check this out. Again, 50 watt mode. <laughs> snorkeler kind of vibe too, right? Just by putting it in 50 watts and adjusting the EQ a little bit. So don't be afraid to use that 50 watt switch on the back, but remember, it's not about volume, it's about headroom, right? And by lowering the headroom, we soften the amp, we allow us to turn up the master more, get more compression, more gain out of the power section, which gives us a totally different sound than we had at 100 watts. All right, guys, I'm Mike from Motorado Guitars. If you like this tip or any other tips, please like and subscribe. Thanks. Have a good rest of your day.